Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So uh, I wasn't going to make a video today, but I want to do a quick response video to Wrangler Star. Not really a response video because the video wasn't directed towards me, but I thought I should make a video about this because about ooh, probably getting close to a year ago now, I purchased this Benchmade bug out knife and I gave it a pretty positive review and I've had it for a year now. So I thought I'd give you my perspective on it because he gave it a pretty crappy review, if you want to call it that. Now, I first off want to say I have absolutely nothing against Cody from the Wrangler Star channel. It's true I've challenged him in the past on his opinions about certain saws, but this is nothing personal. When you make 365 videos a year like he does, a person is bound to say something you disagree with. And uh, this isn't so much that I disagree with him, I just think he's plain wrong about what he says about this knife for reasons I'm going to get into. Now, yes, it's called the Benchmade Bug Out, which I believe is absolutely ridiculous. I want to first off say I did not buy this knife because it was called Bug Out. As much as you, you know, I've made some pretty stupid impulse buys in my days as a prepper. Believe me, I've made a video on that, all the dumb things I've purchased. But this was something that I didn't buy because of the name. It was total coincidence. I was looking for a knife, which was gonna be, you know, a lightweight knife for EDC use. And uh, the guy at the knife store said, well, this is what I use. And he had a blue one. And, you know, I said, okay, well, I'll try that out. And sure enough, I've come to absolutely love this knife. Now, the name is absolutely ridiculous. I don't know what they were thinking when they named this knife, what they named it, because it, it has to be the worst. Like, why would you waste a great name like that on something like this, which is not even remotely close to what I would consider uh, a bug out knife. Now, part of the reason why I say this is because the first one that came out was in blue of all things. So not only is the form factor and the durability of the knife not up to task for a bug out situation, but the color was way off. I mean, if anything, make it orange, something which is high vis, why blue? And then I think about a year later, they came out with this color, which is kind of like an olive drab type color, which of course I went for. And I think it's, it's great for what I'm gonna talk about, but it's absolutely terrible. So not only did Cody at the Wrangler Star Channel screw up in his review, uh, for reasons I'm going to get into, but you know, Benchmade screwed up in naming this knife. It's the dumbest name, and they should just start, they should name it the Warehouse Knife. So, his two criticisms were is that it feels like plastic and that there's a hole in it. I'm not joking about this. His two criticisms are is that he feels that the plastic is cheap and that there's a hole in it that does something to his hand that he didn't really clearly articulate. Now, my issue is this. You knew what you were buying when you bought it, okay? You knew that it was a plastic handle when you bought it, so why is that all of a sudden a surprise? And the second thing is this hole, this lanyard hole, um, I have absolutely no idea what he's talking about when he says that that hole catches on something. Maybe it's because he doesn't have a clip on it or he took the clip off but I have no idea what he's talking about when he says that the hole catches on things. I've never had that happen. And I use this knife every single day, probably about a hundred times a day. I'm not exaggerating because you know, it's for my store, uh, canadianpreparedness.com. I ship out a lot of boxes. I'm cutting up a lot of stuff. I use this for everyday use all the time, 24 seven, this is on me. When it's not on me, I panic. The thing is, I don't always know it's on me because it's super lightweight, and that's why I wanted it. It has a nice thin form factor, and you'll notice that this clip is flush with the top, so it doesn't protrude out of whatever, you know, if you put it in your pocket, it doesn't protrude out. So it's perfect for concealed, and it's as much as he says that it's, it's plastic and, you know, it's prone to breaking. He did this little demonstration on the video where he's like, look, I can put stress on it. And he said, I heard it crack. Well, 
I mean, this is not a knife that you're gonna be using for really aggressive tasks or batoning or things of that nature, which is why I think it's absolutely ridiculous that they called it a bug out knife. And maybe that's where they got his hopes up. But I can tell you, I haven't had any issues with the durability of this knife. You can use it, you know, outdoors for um, small carving type tasks. If you wanna, you know, make a spear or traps or whatever the case might be, you could use it for that purpose. But it's certainly not gonna be something you're gonna wanna use too aggressively. Now, it holds a great edge. It's very sharp, uh, very hard steel. So it's a challenge to sharpen. But in my opinion, this is an awesome knife. Uh, the plastic has shown no like wear and tear and I'm sure this is like some kind of polycarbonate It's not just you know plastic. It's it's definitely It's he says it doesn't have a lot of heft. Well number one You don't want a lot of heft with an ultralight knife like this But it does have heft to the plastic like it's not Like just some cheap little piece of plastic like that your Tupperware is made out of it's definitely you know, it's it's got some it's got some solidness to it, you know. And in terms of like how it functions, it functions great, easy open. You know, it closes very easily. And I don't know, I, I'm not a knife guy, but I love this knife. And do I think that it's a little overpriced? I think it probably is, but I don't know a whole lot about knives and you know why they're priced the way they are. So one thing I can say is that because it's cost me so much, I always make sure I have it near. And that's one of the great things when you buy something, you know, that costs a bit more, you take care of it, you look after it. Look, I'm not one of these guys who has 50 different knives and I use, you know, I pick a different knife every day. Fear the man with one gun for he knows how to use it. The same thing goes with a knife. Uh, this is my knife. This is, you know, the knife I use thousands of times a week, I would say. And it's just great. I, I just, I have no complaints about it. The first time I felt it in my hand, I knew it was for me. So I think Wrangler Star is out to lunch on this issue. I sincerely think he's got a great channel, but on the topic of this issue, it's like he's saying that, you know, a pair of basketball shoes is not good for the construction site. Or a better analogy would be, uh, he's saying that screwdrivers suck because they're not hammers. This has a distinct purpose, okay? And the purpose isn't for running around a homestead all day where you probably want something a little more heavy duty, especially when you're doing a lot of woodworking and, and things of that nature. You're gonna want something which is a bit more sturdy. Now that is partly the fault of Benchmade for naming it the bug out. But you knew when you bought it that it was made out of plastic. I'm assuming you handled the knife before you purchased it. Maybe it was sent to you, maybe somebody sent it to you. I think he had did a video uh, based on what he had said in that video that I watched. He might have done a video two weeks prior uh, which mentioned that he liked the knife and that he had changed his mind later on. It's one thing to say that the knife doesn't meet your needs. It's another thing to make a thumbnail that says bad, 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 no. It's a tool that is not the tool that you want. I have absolutely no affiliation with Benchmade whatsoever, although I would like to start selling some high quality knives in the future, and they're definitely one of the companies that I'm looking into, but so I'm not trying to do any damage control for the company or anything like that. This is for my reputation because people go and they see my video and they say, oh look, Canadian Pepper says this, Knife is great and Wrangler Star is saying it's crap. Remember why he's saying it's crap. He's saying it's crap because it's lightweight and because it's made of plastic. He doesn't even know what kind of plastic it's made out of and quite honestly, neither do I. But he knew it was plastic when he bought it and he's complaining that there's a hole in it. So to say that that makes it a bad knife is completely illogical. So in my opinion, this is a great knife for somebody who primarily leads an urban lifestyle but maybe does some stuff in the outdoors periodically, but isn't doing any anything heavy duty. And with a knife like this, you should know the limits just by handling it. I mean, you should know what you can and you can't get away with. You know, maybe at some point 
if I ever do decide to get another one or if the company wants to send me another one, then I can really put this one through some torture tests. I'm not gonna do that right now because it's an expensive knife and I'm not just gonna trash a knife just for YouTube, especially, you know, one that's grown on me. Now, one of the most important things about this knife is the weight. To get a knife which has, you know, really hard steel, good quality blade, and to make it lightweight at the same time, but durable, there's gotta be some compromises. And this knife is so light, it's ounces count. I had a, a Kershaw knife before this. I'm sure there's other knives in this class which are comparable. Maybe they could have made it in titanium or something like that. Um, I'm sure there's other materials they could make it out of, but I'm pretty sure they probably thought about that too. Uh, you know, so I don't know. I just think it's a great knife. I think it's it's amazing knife for my uh, proper lightweight tactical pants. Fits perfectly in there. You, you don't even know that you can't even tell that it's on you. So that's uh, that's awesome. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Thanks for watching Canadian Prepper Out. The best way to support this YouTube channel is to support yourself by gearing up through canadianpreparedness.com or bugoutroll.ca. Premium quality gear at the best possible price using the incredibly secure and easy to use Shopify platform. We offer free shipping to the United States for orders over $200 USD and free shipping to Canada over $75. So support the channel by supporting yourself.